Welcome to Matuto with Sir Mark Delight. Our lesson for today is about integration by substitution, integrals giving inverse trigonometric functions. The substitution method, or also called as U substitution, is used when an integral contains some functions and its derivative. In this case, we can set u to the function and rewrite the integral in terms of the new variable u. This makes the integral easier to solve. Remember the following procedures. Find u and a. Derivative of u comes next. Apply the formula, then substitute. Let us solve the integration formulas resulted to inverse trigonometric functions. First, integral of du all over square root of a squared minus u squared, that will be equal to rx sine u over a plus c. The integral of du all over a squared plus u squared equals 1 over a arc tan u over a plus c. The integral of du all over u times square root of u squared minus a squared is equal to 1 over a arc secant u over a plus c. Let us solve examples on each inverse trigonometric function. First, the integral of du all over square root of a squared minus u squared is equal to rx sine u over a plus c. Our first given, the integral of dt all over square root of 9 minus t squared. First thing that you need to do, identify u and a. a squared here is 9 because a is constant. Therefore, square root of a squared is a and the square root of 9 is positive, negative 3. Take only the absolute value, therefore the value of a is 3. Then, u squared is equal to t squared. The square root of u squared is u, and the square root of t squared is t. Find du. The derivative of u is du. The derivative of t is dt. Then now, let us proceed to substitution. The given will become the integral of dt is equal to du all over square root of 9 is a squared minus t squared is u squared. Therefore, we have the integral of du all over square root of a squared minus u squared. Next, that will be equal to rx sine u over a plus c. Substitute the values of u and a. The result will give us rx sine u is t and a is 3 plus c. Therefore, rx sine t over 3 plus c is the final result. Or, simply, we can write this in this term. Sine raised to negative 1, t over 3 plus c. Let us solve our next example. The integral of dy all over square root of 25 minus 4y squared. Remember the steps and procedures. First, identify u and a. a squared here is equal to 25. And the square root of a squared is positive negative 5 or the value of a is a equals 5. Then, let us have u squared. u squared is equal to 4y squared and the square root of u squared is equal to 2y. Next step, find the derivative of u. u is equal to du equals the derivative of 2y is 2dy. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 2. 1 of du is equal to dy. Substitute. The integral of 1 half du all over the square root of a squared minus u squared. Put 1 half outside the integral sign. We have 1 half integral of du all over square root of a squared minus u squared. And apply the formula. We have 1 half times the quantity arc sine u over a plus c then substitute we have 1 over a arc sine u is equal to 2y and a is equal to 5 therefore the final result is 1 half arc sine 2y over 5 
plus c or one half sine raised to negative one two y over pi plus c let us solve our second formula the integral of du all over a squared plus u squared equals 1 over a r tan u over a plus c this formula has no radical sign in the denominator let us solve the following examples the integral of d beta all over 16 plus beta squared first step we have to identify a squared and u squared in this given our a squared or constant is 16 and the square root of a is equal to positive negative 4 take only the absolute value therefore a is equal to 4 u squared is equal to b or beta squared u is equal to beta and the derivative of u is equal to d beta therefore let us now substitute the given integral of du all over a squared plus u squared the formula will be 1 over a r tan u over a plus c substitute the values of u and a we have 1 over 4 r tan beta over 4 plus c therefore this is the final result. And now, let us proceed with the next example. For our second example, under arc time, we have the integral of z times dz all over 5 plus 9z to the fourth. u squared and a squared. Our a squared is equal to 5. And the square root of a is equal to square root of 5. u squared is equal to 9z to the fourth. And the value of u is 3z squared. Then the derivative of u is 6z dz. Divide both sides of the equation by 6. The result is 1 over 6 du equals z dz. Substitute now the our, our given. It will become the integral of z dz all over. 5 plus 9z to the fourth. We have 1 over 6 du all over a squared plus u squared. Put 1 over 6 outside the integral sign. We have 1 over 6 integral of du all over a squared plus u squared. Let's apply the formula. 1 over 6 times the quantity 1 over a r tan u over a plus c. Substitute the values. We have 1 over 6 times 1 over square root of 5 r tan 3z squared over square root of 5 plus c. Simplify. We have 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times square root of 5 is 6 square root of 5. Therefore, we have 1 over 6 square root of 5 r tan 3z squared over square root of 5 plus c. This will be the final answer. You may not simplify the denominator. And for the last formula under inverse trigonometric function, we have the integral of du all over u times the quantity square root of u squared minus a squared. This will give us 1 over a arc secant u over a plus c. As you can see, our denominator is also written in radical form. Let us have our first example. We have the integral of cosecant squared z dz all over cotangent z times square root of cotangent squared z minus 16. As you can see, this given is not same as the first formula. Therefore, our a squared is equal to 16. Our a is equal to 4. u squared is equal to cotangent squared z. And u is equal to cotangent z. The derivative of u 
is equal to we have negative cos secant squared c dz next step let us now have the idea of dividing both sides of the equation by negative 1 to make it same as our numerator therefore our given is the integral of negative du all over cotangent z is equal to u times the square root of cotangent squared z is u squared minus 16 is a squared therefore we have negative integral of du all over u squared rather u times the square root of u squared minus a squared let us have negative times the quantity 1 over a arc secant u over a plus c substitute the given we have negative times 1 over 4 arc secant cotangent z all over 4 plus c this will be the final result let us proceed with the next example let us proceed with the next given this given is quite confusing because the given is not totally same as the written formula above the integral of d theta all over square root of e raised to 2 theta minus 4 as you can see there is a missing term there is no value of u so far because this data or the integral of d theta all over square root of e raised to 2 theta minus 4 is not same as d theta over square root of 4 minus e raised to 2 theta or square root of a squared minus u squared in this given our a squared is written in the subtrahend for the first formula our a term or constant is written in the minuend so what will we do let us identify first a squared that is the constant or therefore a is equal to 2 u squared is equal to e raised to 2 theta then the square root of u squared is equal to e raised to theta then find the derivative of u we have du equals e raised to theta d theta let us multiply both the numerator and the denominator by e theta to make this given same as the formula integral of du over u times the square root of u squared minus a squared therefore the new given will become the integral of e theta d theta or e raised to theta d theta all over e raised to theta times the square root of e raised to 2 theta minus 4. Let us substitute the given. The integral of e raised to theta d theta is our du all over our u is e raised to theta and square root of e raised to theta is equal to or e raised to 2 theta is equal to u squared minus 4 is a squared therefore we will apply 1 over a arc secant u over a plus c the value of a is 2 the value of u is e raised to theta therefore the final result will be 1 half arc secant e raised to theta all over 2 plus c or 1 half secant raised to negative 1 e raised to theta all over 2 plus c that will be the result for this given Before you proceed with your exercises, don't forget to subscribe. Please try the following. Try, not cry. Good luck!